Okay, I've cut all the stretchers properly following the exact same procedure I did for the legs. And I wanted to show how the layout of the legs worked out. So this is how I cut them off of the stock in the right order. And in actuality, I um, changed the uh, actual layout of the pieces based on the grain. So this is how um, pieces actually end up being. Take a minute to get the configuration. I can see why on the end of the piece I draw the rectangle and I give myself a map. So these are going to be the two front legs, F2 and F3. The first piece I cut off is here, and then F4 is there. And I just thought the grain looked better across the board, and um, looks like it flows a little bit. I've also gone ahead and laid out all for all the mortises, and what I like to do is on the inside of the face, I actually draw a line where I'm going to be putting the mortise, and then I drew the layout lines on the two on the face pieces so I can get everything properly aligned. And I did the same thing for all the stretchers on each end, marking the face. They're basically 32 millimeters in from the top edge, and then um, 50 millimeters in between two pieces before the next piece. I went ahead and made a mock-up of what um, the joint's going to look like. I wanted the stretcher to have about a five millimeter gap. I didn't want the stretcher to be flush to the edge of the table. I thought it was a little more interesting to have it offset a little bit. So basically, I'm going to use the 20 millimeter setting for the domino for the stretchers, and I'm going to use the 28 millimeter setting of the domino for the legs, and that will give me an offset of about five millimeters. And the reason why is because at 28 and at 20, it roughly centers the stock, centers the cut line on the stretcher material, and it also um, that center line lines up with the 28 millimeter mark on the legs, and that gives me the 5 millimeter offset that I'm looking for that I think will be a nice fit, a nice detail on all the uh, legs and stretchers. So I'm going to go ahead and make the cuts with the domino. I'm just going to use the alignment line on the fence to actually cut these instead of using the cross stops. You can use the cross stops if you say you only measured two faces, you can use the cross stops to reference uh, from the end to get both cuts. But since I went ahead and marked them all, I'm just going to use the fence on the domino and kind of freehand it. And as I said before, the setting for the stretchers, I use the tight setting so that there's no wiggle room, and the setting for the legs, I use the middle setting, and that way it allows me a little bit of adjustment so that I can get the top edge perfectly flush when I do the glue up, and also make sure that everything is square at the bottom. So works really well, real fast and easy way to um, complete the joinery. If you don't have a domino, you can absolutely use a router. You can lay out your lines the same way mark the center line of the bit, and then I would use two edge guides and offset the router. You can line the center line of the, where you wanted the mortise up with the center line of the router base plate, offset the um, edge guides so that those all line up, and then make your cuts. It's a little bit more tedious with the router because you'd have to mark your start and finishes for the mortises, but you absolutely 
to do it that way if you don't have a domino. I did it that way for many years prior to me getting a domino, so um, it just takes a little bit more set up time, but it's equally effective. And Festool actually does carry some spiral bits and metric sizes, so if you did want to use a router and still have access to dominoes, you could buy the 6mm cutter or the 10mm cutter. Um, they still have those available because they're used with their dovetail attachment, their dovetail machine. And uh, you could use those to cut slots and use dominoes if you didn't want to make your own tin and stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and get this set up so I can cut these mortises. I'm going to do the legs first, and then I will do the uh, stretchers. Okay, I've got the uh, legs first leg clamped up. I like to use two clamps just to make sure it's really secure. I've also gone ahead and laid out the stock to cut mortises all in the same position so that I can just do them, remove the clamp, take the next one, do it. And then I'll do the same thing for the other set of mortises when I mortise down at this end. And again, I'm just going to lay the mortar, you can't see these on film probably, but I've just got the layout marks and I'm going to just free, free measure the uh, center line of the domino machine to each of those. Okay, I've got the setup on the domino for the stretchers. I've got the depth changed to 20 millimeters. Change the uh, width to the smallest setting. And I've got my layout lines. And the same, same process. 